Hey everyone, so before we get into the video, I'd like to direct you all to my latest in the Light Up The World Tour series, the Spain video. It's got a lot of amazing content here. It's just been uploaded on my channel. I wouldn't want you guys to miss any of the series, so please check it out. I'll leave it linked down below. Thank you all for your support, but for now, let's get into this video. What, what do you mean by vegan? Like, do you mean like animal rights? Yes, vegan like this. You don't mean health? Yeah, no, vegan, like, I know that vegans just because love the animals. Principle, yeah, principle. Moral, moral principle, yes, yeah. Yes, and I agree 100%, since 999, like, 18 years ago, I started to be, like, vegan, plant-based mm. vegan. Wow, you know, that's a long I'm, time. Yeah, I was a teenager, but the question is, sometimes I go, I, like, some people invite me, oh, there will be, like, a vegan dinner, I want you to give your workshops about nutrition and plant-based and health and the animal rights. But sometimes I'm working with a person, you know, they are smoking like weed before the workshop or they are drinking alcohol and sometimes... So you're I'm, working with someone who does the workshop with you? Yes, the vegan... Like who, the vegan uh, like someone the, conducts a workshop and smokes weed beforehand? Helps. I don't think anyone should be going to schools and smoking weed and getting drunk beforehand though. Yes, or... I mean, or, I mean if you're representing... Um, if you're doing a workshop, I don't... I, 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 don't think it's cool to get drunk beforehand or Not whatever, but drink, uh, like, I, sometimes I, I don't express like. For you, example, you mean I, like I, the I, individuals might lead a lifestyle that isn't completely healthy? Yes, because sometimes I'm I'm working in a there's a for example a vegan meeting or a vegan weekend in some place, and I go there and I spend two hours speaking about health, about lifestyle, exercise, and eating a whole plant based. Hopefully, and, plant -based and, 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 yeah. and I have seven guests and they like, but after I have a problem with the organization, for example, mm. the vegans, they say, mm. oh, you speak too much about health, we are not uh, promoting health, we're just promoting veganism, but, and they are eating like white well, flour. Why do you work with them if they, if you promote health and they promote animal rights? No, I, but can a, veganism can, can be connected with health, because... Well, uh, like, no, it can't. No, it can't. Um, Plant-based nutrition, whole foods plant-based nutrition yes. is a diet. Yes, but if you can extend Veganism it. is a moral principle. Yes, but if you It's nothing to, like, like, if you eat a whole foods plant-based diet, you've, you've, you've eradicated most of the cruelty because a lot of it happens in food. But in terms of maintaining a healthy lifestyle, this has nothing to do with the moral principle of non-exploitation of sentient beings. Yeah. Okay. So, so that is a, um, a benefit, but not always, because you can eat complete junk and not exploit sentient beings. Yes, this is my point. Yeah. I have my best friend, I love him. Like He, t he taught me about veganism, he was mm. a Hare Krishna, but he's 40 years old. He's fat, he has uh, the beginning of diabetes, he has uh, inflammation in his joints, and I know because he just eats yeah. junk, vegan and he's an activist he has the tattoos and everything and we mm. are argue all the time follow, oh dear friend i love you yeah. you're an, an activist but that is a personal choice of his and sometimes i i feel that i am like out of the vegan uh activism and the vegan thing the, the vegan world because i try to use like dr mcgregor Do that's dr. a good Colin way Penn. of advocating i mean it can be a strong um way of advocating to add health into it but in terms of the moral principles of veganism health is got nothing to do with it yeah. so I'm, I'm not telling i'm right and they're wrong or anything sometimes well just... you're both right like look 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 in terms of you being a health advocate i wouldn't work with animal rights activists because they're two, they're two separate things i mean if you want to bring animal rights into your health I'm, I'm not but, uh, arguing but, uh, or accusing it's, anything. It's, uh, no, no, me neither. I'm just telling you straight out what, it, what, what, what I... Th if you want to ask me a question, I'll tell you exactly what I think. Health and the ethics of veganism are completely separate. You can bring them together and mesh them together and go, okay, if you eat a healthy whole foods plant-based diet, you can reverse heart disease and diabetes and, and, and it's also good for animals and good for the environment. That's a good way to advocate. Yeah, because a lot my goal is... Uh, I, al I always think about the animals, okay? It was my... Mm. my motivation when I became vegan but I saw like my yoga teacher in India was with disease my best friend okay. they were vegan with that's diabetes, a different fight and I thought okay I go vegan but I cannot just eat like sheeps and 
and like oh well, that's your personal choice this is a completely different area you're going into here you're going into helping people and you, which is good I'm not saying it's bad I'm not saying you're wrong and, and like yeah. but if you want to look after your health that's great but it's got nothing to do with animal rights and, and the yeah. moral principle that holds together but if I can if I can reach like 1,000 yeah. I'm not, I'm not uh, saying that's bad I use health to advocate as yeah. well like you can use like but, uh, but like it's not the only animal. way okay. and if you're telling um, if you're gonna say to animal rights uh, people like you you gotta do it this way yeah. but you do it that way that, okay. that's your it's it's separate from animal, animal I, rights I never had any problem with meat eaters with anybody but sometimes some vegans they say oh your point is is not the animal so no if people well, it's are true. Happy. It's true. The veganism is about the animals. You can't be vegan and um, you can't be vegan for health. Okay. It's, you cannot. You just can't okay. because you can still wear a leather jacket and go to a circus and eat a plant-based diet. Yes, I agree. I yeah, saw yeah, yeah. Kinds. You can't be vegan for the environment. And I, I you, don't you know, you know that you can't be vegan for the environment and for health. Yes. You just can't. You, yes. you can't because you can. You can still, you know, uh, wear fur coat. Yeah. And it's good for the environment if you reduce your meat consumption, but still eat chicken. Yeah, that's good for some the environment. Some people at the end they eat all kinds of meat. I'm yeah, telling yeah, you, yeah. So, like, so, it's more like so uh, all I'm saying is, is you can't be vegan for health and the environment. You can only be vegan mm -hmm. for the animals, yeah. because it's a, a principle of non-exploitation. That's okay. Yeah. And okay, because sometimes I don't know. I know how to because I study. I think the, you're mixing the two. You're mixing plant-based nutrition with veganism. If you put me in a in a, in a place with 100 people, I can spend two hours giving recipes, and that's great. And everything, speaking about the animals and the health and all the science. What, what I don't know I yet is how to to deal with vegans in some place because sometimes they are looking facing the animals, and I agree. I'm I'm with them. But you're trying a different method. And like when we go, like when we sit to have a dinner. Sometimes I say sorry, but as a vegan, like you, I cannot eat this or drink this or smoke but this. Why not? Because... Because as a vegan, if it's vegan, it's no, vegan. No, no, as a vegan, like, I'm vegan like you, but I use not smoke, I not use this that's, or that. That's got nothing to do with anyone. This, is where, this yes. is where you're putting your personal choice of health on other people when it's, okay. it's not a moral issue. Um, when people exploit animals, that's a moral issue where yes. you, you should get involved. But when someone makes health decisions, that's a personal choice. So I want to be calm about this. If my best friend who taught me about veganism is sick because he's eating junk vegan Yeah, because you care about him. That's different, that's your friend. Yes, but you, this, this is... So it's like if my, I, if my I, mum's smoking cigarettes, I get like, mum, you know, you smoke, stop smoking cigarettes. But if a stranger is smoking cigarettes, it's like, like maybe the only moral issue with someone smoking cigarettes is the fact they're tested on animals. Okay. I'm just telling this because yeah. sometimes we can, we can create a new activism inside the vegan community. Like, you should be raw vegan, you should be plant-based vegan, you should be junk food vegan. I want to stop this, but I want to, to know how to deal with the difference, like the health vegans, the junk food vegans. There is no such thing as a health vegan, but there's, a, there's healthy vegans. Mm -hmm. But like I said, you can't be vegan for health. You have to, like, this is what, what I think um, happens. People have a misconception about what the word vegan means. And I think you just look at the, the, the definition of veganism and it's to do with using animals, okay? Yes, I'm trying yeah. to, because in English, amazing, we have many people like you in Australia, but in Portuguese, we don't have many. Yeah. I should understand like better what I'm doing, like to save animals. I think, I think you should just do your own thing and don't worry about what other vegans are eating and stuff like that, no, as, long as, as long as they're not harming um, animals or, you I, know, I, I think if... I think if a vegan is telling you something that isn't vegan is vegan, I think that's a problem. If they're doing, if they're participating in animal exploitation, then that's not vegan. But in terms of them eating a big greasy burger and some chips and smoking um, some weed, yeah. that's their own personal choice. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess you are going to run into problems with people if you, if you um, uh, preach a health message onto people who yes, care about I ethics. Saw, because I you thought you could start bumping yes. heads with people and. No, everything is okay. But I, I'm, I felt this working together sometimes. Okay, mm. we'll have a Sunday vegan picnic and, some, and sometimes some difference, some arguments. So I'm learning how to deal with the, like, what's veganism? So I'm, I'm learning, reaching people, bringing them first because of health issues, because people are sick. And yeah, that's after- good. That's what the plant-based doctors do. Yeah. Plant-based doctors don't promote veganism. You know that, right? 
Yes, yeah, very rare I can hear them. Maybe Neil Barnard sometimes, um, but doctors promote plant-based nutrition. It's not veganism. Dr. McGregor and all that. Dr. Gregor promotes plant-based nutrition. They're doctors. They care about health. Yes. They're not, it's, not, it's not veganism. It's but they separate. Give, they give a, a base, a very strong argument that we can... Be healthy on plants, which yeah. is good for animals. Because most yeah. of people in the, the communities they go, they say, okay, I would try to give up everything, all anim animal, but I, I need some doctor's opinion or some science, so I use this. But my goal is to save animals. You know, I just use this as a method. Well, then what about if you met someone that loved burgers and loved french fries, would you tell them, and loved smoking weed, would you tell them that's not vegan? No, even the weed is okay. Uh, no, but would you tell them that, no, 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 look, don't, don't, vegan, don't eat the junk food because that's not vegan. Would you say that? Be honest. It's okay if you no, do. No, it's vegan, it's okay. But are you sure? Like if someone's eating chips and you just told me you had a problem with what ve vegans yeah. were eating. So I'll, t I'll tell you like this. If you tell someone um, veganism is about health and they can't have their favorite food but veganized, they're more likely to go stuff this vegan diet. If I have to eat whole foods all the time and I can't have my burgers and my chocolate and my chips, then I'm going to go back to eating animal products because this person told me veganism is about health and about raw foods and about all these amazing... Yes. I want to have my burgers and then they go back to yes, Burger agree. King and get a beef burger because they can't have their junk food as well. So I think giving them both options okay, um, okay. is a good idea if you if you care about it. I don't, I don't care what diet people eat as long as it doesn't exploit and harm okay. the innocent. So. Okay, okay, I just don't, don't want to mix thinking that it's, one thing is another thing. Okay. Some people really care about health and you can go on that avenue yeah. with them. Some people don't care about health. They care about, they might care more about ethics. So I think you, you should um, alter your approach depending on who you're talking to. Find out, not everyone is the same as you. Not everyone okay. cares about health. A lot of people do though. So you can use it on, on them. I feel like uh, we have to be careful not to let the animals get lost in the health and environment message because they're already forgotten. Yes. If your goal is to turn your average person vegan and your average person eats here. Yes, I'm just... Oh, you know what I mean? They're eating fried chicken, they're eating big burgers with cheese, they're eating... Your average person, think about, um, you know, you get your... People like me, I was really interested in health, but not everyone's like me, you know? Most, more people are, like, eating out of here. They, okay, if you just change their... their if you veganize their fast food first, okay, and I then you give them an option, you say, well, you know, because I can go this. you can go and eat vegan junk food, but I personally don't because I care about my health as well as the animals, but you give them both options. Okay. So then you're not sacrificing your health message and you're not forgetting the animals and you're sort of making sure that those people who want to have a vegan burger, they have the option. Okay. If you wanted to broaden your reach, you, should, you could adapt to any situation or any individual. Yes, because as a personal trainer, mm. when I see someone smoking, for example, first thing I want, I want to speak about the smoking, and I forget sometimes about like the. Because that's the your animal. focus. That's you. And I think I think if yeah. they are health happy, there is a health health vegan channel, YouTube channel, like something like this. I want to bring them to to be happy, healthy. So sometimes instead of keeping them vegan and smoking, I want to to speak about the, like how smoking is harmful for your health and and sometimes I lost like should keep them vegan or health vegan so if they're vegan and smoking I don't care if they have lung cancer. I think you're confusing veganism with health yeah. that's all because I studied this in university uh, plant-based nutrition and veganism are two different things I mean yeah. you can smoke vegan cigarettes and eat drink vegan alcohol and have a heart, terrible, you can have a vegan heart attack. It's just a common misconception, I get it all the time. I mean, it's, it's, I think that, you know, the health avenue is a really good one, but you just have to make, keep the distinction between veganism and okay. plant-based nutrition, because, because there's a distinction. These vegan doctors, vegan YouTube. They're not doctor. vegan doctors. A lot of these they doctors vegan aren't vegan. Doctors but yeah, yeah, but they're not, they're plant-based. Doctors. I don't know the difference because I just see them on the internet. Maybe you know them. So the reason they don't recommend veganism is because veganism can be oil and can be fries and can be Anything. chips and can be any Coke, can of Coke. That's why the plant-based doctors don't recommend uh. veganism for health because they're health-focused. 
Never forget the animals in your conversation because you cannot be vegan for health. You cannot be vegan for the environment. Okay, these are benefits of veganism. But veganism is a moral principle against the exploitation of animals, okay? You can eat a plant-based diet, wear leather jackets, and go to circuses, zoos, and aquariums, and use products tested on animals. You are not a vegan.